Hi there, in today's key to travel, I typically will show you places that we're gonna go, but it just happens today, April 8th, we have something special, but really in New Brunswick, one of the best places to watch the solar eclipse. This is set to take place just after 4.30 this afternoon, and I'm gonna try to capture it on video with my GoPro, uh, and also wearing those special glasses so I don't get any damage to my eyes, but I'm looking forward to this. Now, what I have heard is that these happen every 12 to 18 months, but it's really rare to get them over your area. So the entire province of New Brunswick has been on alert and excitement for the last couple of days. So today I'm gonna to see something I probably won't get to witness again in my lifetime. So now it's about 325 local time and uh, the best view is gonna be out the front of our house. So I'm gonna to attempt to shoot some stuff with the iPhone. Uh, also have my GoPro and yes, these glasses. So no, I will not be wearing these, but these when I try to shoot. Let's hope we get some good shots. I think we're lucky we have a gorgeous day. I have my glasses, um, trying not to look up, but I will check it every couple of minutes. So it's 3.30 and there's just a little dent that I can see at the bottom of the sun. About 3.41 starts to look a bit like Pac-Man. Okay, it's about four o'clock and we are about a third of the way into the eclipse. We'll start to see a little bit more definition in the coming minutes. Although it's probably hard to pick up on the camera, uh, the sun is looking a bit like a, a croissant. It's now about halfway uh, through with the moon, and uh, it's really hard to pick up on the video, uh, but it looks incredible. And I guess as it gets closer to the, the top, uh, it will uh, certainly send us into darkness. It's about uh, 10 minutes after 4 right now in Atlantic time. Well, almost 4.15, and it's about two-thirds of the way to the full covering of the sun. Now, there's no way that the camera does it justice because you're probably the top quarter of the sun is still remaining, although it's very bright uh, looking through this. It'll be fully covered probably in the next 10 minutes or so. Yeah. It's, what, 4.20 now? 419. 419. Well, again, we're looking at about 425, and we are almost covered. Now, I know this video is not really showing that, but I think we'll get a better picture when it's completely covering the sun. Oh, if this only would show up on the video. It's about 430. We've just got a sliver left before we're into darkness. One thing we're noticing is that uh, as the sun is sort of covered up, or almost covered up, the temperature has dropped considerably. What I'm seeing right now is how uh, it's almost like getting a little darker as the sun is almost completely covered. Now I've launched up my, uh, my drone, and so as things get darker, we'll hopefully be able to put the video in so you can see the change in just the lighting around here. Oh, you see the darkness set in? Day to night, with just a few minutes. The sun is now Almost, almost gone but now we're starting to see it around the moon which is that optimum point of the eclipse
This is so cool. Early sunset. And it's starting to move out now. So we're starting to see some definition. And I'm sure our lights will be back on shortly. And here it is, uh, 4.40. And after a few minutes, the sun is starting to peek out. And back to daylight. Well, I did my best attempt at trying to at least bring you some of the uh, excitement over this eclipse. Uh, it's probably the last full one I'll see in my lifetime. I don't think I'll be around in 50 years or whenever it comes back. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed.